little bit of the DVD reviews. State of the Multiplex, this is the July 2012 edition. July 2012 was a very rich time at the American Cinema. So many fucking movies just flooding the multiplex. Let's get to them right now. Back on July 3rd, we had The Amazing Spider-Man come out just in time for the big holiday weekend. Now this ain't Spider-Man Part 4. This is a brand new start to a brand new Spider-Man franchise. Now I know a lot of you fucking guys online were screaming and crying for fucking the last two years while they're making this movie. Why are they starting over? Why did they fire Sam Raimi? Why don't they just bring Tobey Maguire back? The answer to all them questions is, basically five years ago, Sam Raimi took a shit in your mouth, called it Spider-Man 3, and fucking told you all to fuck off. Alright, just a few days after that, in a bizarre releasing move on July 5th, that's not a typo, not July 4th, on July 5th we saw the release of Katy Perry, Pardon Me. Now when everybody in the entire fucking country is off for a holiday, usually you want to do one or two things. You either want to release the movie the day before, like Spider-Man did, or just say fuck it, release it on the fucking 4th of July. But oh no, not fucking Katy Perry, she had a genius strategy to release her movie on July 5th. And guess what, nobody fucking went, man. Terrible fucking box office numbers. Actually, you know what, good riddance, fuck Katy Perry, fucking that. I'm so sick of her and her fake slut bullshit, all her fucking tiny latex dresses and shit. She's a fake fucking slut. You want to be can be a singer that fucking sells records off fucking sex appeal? Fucking do it the right way. At least fucking Madonna had the decency to make the sex book and show us all our fucking pussy. Fucking Katy Perry's just fucking cock tease. Fuck her, man. Then on July 6th, saw the release of Oliver Stone's crime drug drama, Savages. Starring John Travolta and Taylor Kitsch. Now, I know they didn't have a crystal ball when they made this movie, but I'm just wondering if Oliver Stone had the chance, would he travel back in time and put somebody else in the movie besides John Travolta and Taylor Kitsch, because you got Taylor Kitsch, who now is box office poison. Everything this guy's in just fucking bombs. Whether it's deserved or not, fucking people can't stand the sight of this motherfucker. Then you got John Travolta, who I'm sorry, he's going to need like an 18 comeback because the only thing the guy's fucking famous for now is supposedly, allegedly trying to get fucking hand jobs from male masseuses. Poor old savages. We hardly knew ye. Then on July 13th, saw the release of Ice Age, Continental Drift. Seriously, they're still fucking making these things? Jesus. And then, I, this is the movie from July that everybody was excited about. Dark Knight Rises, directed by the genius Christopher Nolan. Let me tell you about this Christopher Nolan, man. He did something with Batman that nobody had ever did before because he just has unique writing and directing touch. Okay, Batman Begins. The Scarecrow releases a bunch of insane asylum criminals out into the streets of Gotham. Fucking genius plot. Dark Knight. The Joker puts a fucking bomb in the hands of a bunch of fucking out of control prison escapees on a fucking barge. <laughs> fucking brilliant. So what did Chris Nolan come up with for fucking Dark Knight 3? Fucking Bane lets all the criminals out of the fucking jails to wreak havoc on Gotham City. Ah, uh, I tell you what, that, fu that Christopher Nolan, man, ah, uh, he's a fucking genius. Christopher Nolan, where does he get those wonderful stories? And then just yesterday I saw the release of The Watch. An alien invasion comedy starring Ben Stiller, Vince Vaughn, Jonah Hill, and everybody else who hasn't had a hit in five years and willing to work for cheap. Get out to the theater, go see The Watch, best alien invasion movie of the summer. Also yesterday saw the release of Step Up Revolution 3D, another long running series with no recurring characters, no recurring story, but hey, who needs that when you got fuckers breaking and popping in 3D? It's funny because like, you know how like sometimes you hear people reminisce about past years, like certain years, just had great movies come out, like, a lot of people be like, hey, 1985, you remember, man, it was a great year, we had Back to the Future, Goonies come out, Rambo First Blood Part 2, I wonder if, like, 20 years, people are gonna be like, hey, man, you remember summer 2012, all oh, that shit was off the hook, man, we had fucking alien invasion movies out the ass, comic book movies out the ass, and fucking Katy Perry did a 3D concert film that fucking nobody went to see, oh, yeah, man, that was a great year fucking film. Somehow, I don't think anybody's ever gonna have that conversation, but hey, don't let that fucking ruin the parade. It's summertime. It's hot as fuck outside. Run to your local theater. Pay to see all this fucking dog shit at $10 a ticket. Because, hey, it's summertime. That's what you're fucking supposed to do, right? Tony, stop filming your cock and give me a beer, do you, please? Yeah. What? Yes? Yeah, here's a beer, dude. You deserve it. Dude, hey, seriously though, 
Thank you, man. Thank you for being here.